Stroll on that boy. Stroll on that boy. Sha, give me the loot. Follow the suit. Screaming out gang, 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 rolling with the crew. Give me the juice. Pour me a two. I'm with the gang, 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 rolling in the coops. Give me the loot. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today I got a little tutorial video, a little instructional video, whatever you want to call it, you feel me? Um, what I'm going to show y'all in this video, my first mod, you feel me, that I'm going to be doing to the Glock 19. I'm going to show y'all how to attach that beam to that 9 I mean. So, let me show y'all the beam that I got first if you ain't watched my unboxing video, you feel me? I got the solo fish, these are the colors. I got purple and green, it come with two colors, you feel me? It also got the flashlight, it's not just the beam. Couldn't go with just the beam, you gotta have a flashlight with the strobe on it too, you feel me? So I already did the unboxing video, but I'm gonna show you what's in the box. You got the beam right here, that's the beam itself. And then you got the little charger for it. Um, it came with something else actually too. It came with this right here. It's a little tool kit and a little Ziploc bag, you feel me? It come with a little, come with a little Allen wrench, you feel me? A little small one. This is for when you uh trying to zero in your, uh, your beam, you're trying to get it all lined up right to make sure that your target, that your bullet clusters is on target when you're using the beam. So if it's a little off, you use that to adjust your beams, you feel me? It come with an extra screw. You only need one screw, and I say that because the beam already got one attached to it, but this an extra one. And this extra one got the spring on it, so I'm actually gonna use this spring for the beam. I mean, I'm gonna use this spring for the screw that's already attached to the beam, you feel me? I'm gonna put that to the side too. I think this lit though, this the littest part. Look like a coin, but it's not a coin. This a little screwdriver, you feel me? It got a little, I don't know you see, it got a little skull on one side. Then on the other side, it just got a T and it say screwdriver on it. That's how, that's how you know it's the screwdriver. Because the screw, it's, it's a flathead type. So you could use a flathead screwdriver, but it's a little thick, the opening kind of thick for a flathead screwdriver. It should be a little thinner if it wants you to use a flathead. So since it's thick, they gave you a little coin. So you use the coin and you put the coin in here and this how you turn it. That's how you loosen it and loosen the beam when you got it on your thigh, you feel me? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to the installation process, you feel me? So, I'm finna take the little beam out. This is the solo fish beam. And when I did the unboxing video, I didn't show y'all really too in depth. So on the left side, you got a uh you got a button for the beam and a flashlight. On the right side, you got a button for the beam and a flashlight. But the beams, so the left side button is for one color beam, the right side button is for another color beam. But the flashlight buttons. It's it's the same. It's it's for the flashlight. It's it's only one flashlight. <laughs> so let me go ahead and turn it on. You see, you got the purple on and off. Then you got the green, the classic green on and off. And then you got the flashlight stroll away. You feel me? But if you hold it, it's re it's it's steady. You feel me? So let's go ahead and install this thing, man. Stop playing. Let me go ahead and loosen up the screw that's already on here. Take this off. I thought it only came with one spring, but this one got a spring too, so I don't gotta take the spring from the other screw. So the other screw and spring is just extra, you feel me? And you already know when it comes to my channel, first things first is gonna be safety, you feel me? So, we gonna go ahead and unload that boy. You feel me? Clear. 
so with the length of my barrel it's gonna it's gonna protrude a little bit it's not gonna uh come all the way to the trigger guard some of them you see it's like all the way hugging it but it's not gonna hug because i only got one groove for the screw to lock into that's where the screw is gonna rest so that it doesn't slide back and forth um and i only got one groove so i have to make sure that the screw is lined up with that groove so i can't choose to either use the back one or the front one but obviously it'll make more sense and it look a little better uh for it to be flush like that so i'm gonna just hold it like that i'm gonna grab my screw Put my screw on there. And while I'm holding it, it's a little tricky, but while I'm holding it, I'm finna connect the other piece back to it. There you go. So we screwing it in. I like to start it with my finger. Just at least get it on there. Once it's connected, I'm gonna do the little rest with the coin that it gave me. So, AKA the screwdriver. And it got the spring on there so that it can like be tight and hold both ends together without letting it come loose, you feel me? So you just tighten it. Be careful, make sure you don't strip it, strip the threads. And when you got it on there, try not to like take it off too much because you will strip it. Anything with, anything with threads, any type of screw, you just want to be careful not to strip it and you don't want to uh, do it too tight either. So as you can see, it's on there because you can see the screw peeking through the little hole. I'm gonna do it a little bit tighter though. Finger off the trigger at all time, you feel me? It's getting a little tight. I'm gonna give it one more, like one more half one. Hold on, one more. Yep, that good right there. It ain't going nowhere. You feel me? That boy on there. I like how that look too. I'm not gonna cap to y'all. Let me put the little box to the side. I ain't finna, I ain't finna do that right now because I just wanna, you feel me, play around with it for a little bit. That's how I look when it's on there. It's it's daytime and broad daylight, it's like, three three o'clock three p.m or whatever so you you're not gonna see like the tracer for real but at night time you're gonna see that thing the camera don't do it no justice but yeah that that purple that's that green you got that steady light and if you hold it you got that strobe light stop playing with that light stop playing with that boy stop playing nah let me not do that because y'all be feeling the type of way when people hold it like that but I'm not no gangster, but you feel me? Put that light in that boy's face. That boy ain't gonna see none. Turn the flashlight off. But what's crazy is, and what I like about this one, some of them, well, most of them, you can have the beam and the light on at the same time. Like that, how I got the green and the light. But what's crazy is I can put both. I can put both. And look, you see the strobe? Not every beam can do this, bro. Some strobes, what, I mean, some beams don't let you use the laser when you got the strobe light on. So the fact that I got the strobe light on and both lasers on at the same time, that's fine. Not every beam can do that, you feel me? That's fine. And then obviously I can go to the steady, still got the purple and the green on turn those off 
everything off. One more time for the one more time. Green, purple, light. Strobe on that boy. Strobe on that boy. Strobe on that boy. Strobe on that boy. But yeah, man. That was just a quick little tutorial on how to install a solo fish beam on your Glide 19, feel me? Yeah. And this right here, that's where this comes into play for when you're trying to zero in and adjust adjust the aims on the on the lasers, you feel me? And then this is where the charger gonna go. Let me show y'all the charger. This the charger, just your standard USB charger, Android charger. Um, yeah. Just me putting this on, level my boy up real quick. And guess what? Since we got the, um, oh, it's a little stiff because I just got that joint, but yeah. Since I got the purple and the green, get what the name is now. Bruce Banner on that boy. Don't make me pull out that incredible hawk. Yep. But that was the tutorial. That was the little instructional video, man. Make sure you hit that like button, that comment button, that subscribe button. Drop down in the comments below what my you want, want to see me do next. I got a lot of more modifications I can do. I still got my iron sights on, so I can go ahead and change that out if y'all want me to. I don't really have a problem with the iron sights, but if y'all want to see me with some different sights, I change out the sights. I already plan on changing out the slide so that I can put an uh, optic on there. You feel me? What else I'm finna do? I'm finna change the, the trig at some point. That's just not a priority to me. Like it doesn't really bother me right now. Um, yeah, whatever suggestions y'all got, drop them joins in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. More life, more love, more luxury. It's your boy. We go. Sha, give me the loop. Follow the suit. Screaming out gang, 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 rolling with the crew. Give me the juice, pour me a two. I'm with the gang, 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 rolling in the coops. Give me the loot.